Hello Moonies! Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon fully posable figure. This is the first press edition of this figure, however, it is the bootleg of the first press edition. It's not an official version. The reason we went with the bootleg instead of just getting the real thing is cost. This one is going to run you less than $15. Meanwhile, the official version is going to cost you at least $60. Same thing with the original animation color edition. That one's also going to be at least $60. I just really wanted this figure in my collection, so I went with the bootleg. I usually try to get official figures if I can. I have gotten bootlegs before, and they're not always great. I bought these actually by accident. I didn't look close enough at the box, and their paint job is kind of terrible. Let's start by taking a look at the box. There are going to be three main differences on the box between the official and the bootleg. First one, mine's lacking the Tomashi Nations and the Bandai logos in the corner, though I have seen counterfeits that have that. Most counterfeits also do not have the silver or gold Toei sticker anywhere around here. I have seen a couple that do. The only thing that I haven't ever seen on a bootleg is right here. There should be a sticker that says first edition, two interchangeable face parts right there. And if it's not there, then it's not an official figure. Alright, so let's open her up. The bootleg does include the instructions, which is nice. I still can't read them, but I think I'll figure it out anyway. First thing most people look at is the paint job. I specifically want to look at the eyes because that's the most important part to me. That's the main problem I had with those petite char figures is the eyes were a little off. Sailor Moon's eyes look really great on the default face. However, we have five more faces, so let's check those out. All of these look really great to me. I was a little worried about the winky face. I saw another version where the winky eye was a little bit off, but this one looks really good. The two bottom ones are the additional faces that come with the first edition press. So any other version is not going to have those last two right there. As for the rest of the paint job, she has the pearlescent finish just like on the official figure. Her boots are a little bit pinkish rather than red like they are in the original animation color edition. The first thing I noticed about the paint job is on the waist detail and also on the boot detail. They painted the color and then painted the white over it but you can still see the color through a little bit. So the waist is a little bit blue and the boots are a little bit pink. It's a little bit annoying, but hey, it's a bootleg. I did not notice this on other bootlegs, so your bootleg experience may vary slightly. Also on the official figure, her pigtails fade from opaque to translucent. On the bootleg, they end up actually transparent. They're supposed to be a little bit yellow down here, but they're completely clear. I still like the effect overall, and I like that they tried to maintain it, but it is a flaw. In order to be worth her salt as a posable figure, she's got to have a lot of joints. This figure has 17 joints so that she can do all of Sailor Moon's iconic poses. A common complaint about bootleg figures is that the joints are often loose, which makes them difficult to pose. However, I think her joints are all in really good shape. She has great articulation in her ankles, in her knees, in her hips, in her shoulders. They're all nice and tight for... Oops. That's not good. Uh oh. Well, you get what you pay for. She's still pretty cute, even one-legged. One common complaint for this figure, including for the official version, is with the wrist joint. They use a peg joint, which limits the articulation and doesn't hold the hand on very well. For the original animation color edition, they switched to a ball joint, and all the other character figures also have a ball joint, so this shouldn't be an issue with other figures. So other than that little issue right there, I'm really happy with the condition of her joints, especially in comparison to some other bootleg figures I have, which is kind of floppy and also fall apart. I've heard some people have issues with changing her face, so I'm going to give that a shot and see if they have that issue as well. That part's easy. So that was really easy, and now she reflects how she feels about me taking her legs off. In addition to her five extra faces, she comes with three sets of hands, plus two additional right hands, one to hold her moon tiara for some moon tiara action, and one to hold either of her two moon sticks. It comes both with the silver crystal and without, and they're really cute. 
probably our most important accessory is Luna. She has a ball joint at her neck and at her tail, so she's a little bit poseable. One complaint is that at the neck joint, it's lighter in color, so you can completely see the joint, and this is true for the official figure as well. For the original Animation Color Edition, they shorten the joint, so that edition does not have this problem. Last and possibly least, we have the stand. I actually think the stand is the biggest problem with the bootleg edition, as it's really weak and floppy. You can't really do most of the poses if the stand's not able to hold her up. The claw pieces fall out really easily and it just makes her really difficult to pose when the stand itself won't even stay together. I can deal with a bum leg, but if the stand's just going to fall apart, then she's not very useful. Overall, and in spite of all its flaws, I really do like this figure. If I didn't want any flaws at all, I would just spend four times as much money and get the real thing. I think she fits in great with the rest of my figures and I'm looking forward to sticking her on my shelf. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future collectible reviews, please leave a comment below. Sailor Moon says, bye now! <laughs>